Good morning, teachers. I am two and a half days away from winter break. And yes, I am sitting here about to make a video because I found a great program. Well, it's been around for a while now and I do believe that I played it before, but this is one that I have brought into my classroom within the last two weeks and it has made such a difference. The kids love it. And whether you're in a virtual classroom or you're in person face to face, this is something that your classroom might not be able to live without. So today I'm gonna to share with you GimKit, how to create a quiz, how to get the kids playing the game. There's a great Among Us version right now and that's the big hit for my fifth graders here in Texas. So I'm sure it's a hit for your students as well. And it's actually just really, really fun and allows the students to learn the information that they need to know uh, to be successful in learning science. So are you ready to learn about GimKit? Let's do this. Okay, first off, we just go to Google and search GimKit, G-I-M-K-I-T. Now I haven't tried GimKit Inc, because I'm not a reading teacher, but I'm sure it's awesome as well. But we're gonna do GimKit Live. As you can see, I already have a few kits uh, <laughs> in my playbook as of right now. So we have kits and assignments. Assignments can be given to classes to do outside of the classroom, and those are my three classes. Creating a class is easy. You just go to new class, you give it a name, you give it a class color, you hit create class, and then you have a link that you can copy into your Google Classroom or however you give information to students and they will be able to join that class and be able to get to all the GIM kits that you assign. It's really easy to assign in Google Classroom because that's what we use. We're gonna focus mainly on kits and assignments so I can show you how to create both of those so that you can give it to students. First off, you can search kits. So if I was searching for the five forms of energy, and that would pull up different GIM kits that are about the five forms of energy. And I can pick and choose which ones that I would want to use. I can create a new kit. So if I want to do science vocabulary, I can put that in, select English, subject science. I can choose a cover fo photo. Right now, you can just search different photos that might work. I'm gonna search light for light energy. Oh, there's some pretty lights. And that will just be my cover photo for my GIM kit quiz. I can add questions or I can create with flashcards. This is awesome. So I can import a set. So all I have to do is go to Quizlet because I have all my vocabulary in Quizlet already. So this makes it pretty easy if you happen to have it done this way as well. If I go down to the bottom under my flashcards, you'll see the three little dots. The three little dots, if you go down, you can hit export. And this will allow you to copy the text, which copy and paste the vocabulary words, and then you can import that set by pasting. Hit create, and it's going to create those multiple choice questions using the vocabulary words that you had in Quizlet. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I can finish my kit. And there I have my science vocabulary that the students can play. After students play, I can go and I can get valuable information from them. So here I had four students play with me. This was in small group. And I can get a student overview of each one. What, how many questions they answered, how many questions they got wrong, and the percentage of those that were correct. And then I can go and get that specific information about the particular student. What question they got right, wrong, how many times they got it right, how many times they got it wrong um, with the questions that I had on that particular GIM kit. I then can print it and use it as data to show students and show parents where their particular student is. I can also just create a new kit. I can pick a cool photo. Let's do light energy again. We'll do the sunlight, yay. And then I can just add a question. How does light travel? In a straight line? 
slowly in a car or hmm <laughs> by train and it's that easy so you add the questions you want you click create kit and there you have a new kit or a new quiz that you can use uh, for your gim kit each kit you'll be able to play live like an like kind of like a kahoot game but a lot <laughs> i think it's uh, more fun um, and you can also assign it for homework if you assign it for homework it gives you a link that students can click on and then they will have a certain amount of time depending on how you set it up to complete the gim kit game when I have assigned it for homework, they always have a dollar amount that they have to reach before they can officially finish their homework. Okay, so this was a GIM kit game that we did in our class. Students will go to gimkit.com slash live, just like they would go to a Kahoot game, um, just to join that game, and they would have the game code 25286. And then they would sign in. Okay, you will click start game and that starts the game for the students. I always like to play too, because this is much more than just <laughs> if you know the information. There's lots of things that go into this game, and while I can win on most occasions, sometimes the kids, uh, they can figure out how to beat Miss Bright, so they, they like to play with me, and I like to do that with them. Okay, so when I share my screen with them, this is what they see, they see a clock, that ticks down the minutes. If you're playing a regular Gim Kit game, you can time it and it only lasts for a certain amount of minutes and students gain money by answering questions correctly. So this is what they see up on the board, up on the screen that I'm sharing. So whether in the front of the room or in a virtual classroom like this, and then you can constantly see the students changing positions as they get more and more answers correct. It does give you a little, uh, narration down at the bottom the game has started miss bride i'm taking the lead um, josh there has upgraded the money per question which are all things that you can buy once you have so much so much money in the game now if my students look a little weird to you in my virtual classroom here it's because i told them they could they needed to hide their faces and that's not their real names so <laughs> we had a little bit of fun with it because they knew it was such a fun game and they wanted to make sure that all the teachers knew how fun this was to play in the classroom. Now, what does this look like for students? Students, when they are getting ready to join a gym kit, they can actually draw while they're waiting. <laughs> There's a little button you can push and you can draw while you are waiting. It's so much fun. Uh, as you're waiting for all the rest of the students to join and be ready to, to get started. And then the game begins. You get the question and then you have to find the correct answer. And as you find the correct answer, you gain points, or in this case, you earn dollars, which is pretty fun. Now the Among Us version, instead of earning dollars, you earn power, which helps you to buy investigations to try to determine who the imposters are of the game. In the regular Gin Kit game, you're just earning money. Now you can use that money to shop, as you can see there where it asks you to shop or continue. Shopping buys you a ton of things, and it's really by playing that you learn how to do each of those things. You can multiply the amount of money that you get. You can buy things to multiply the amount of money you get for every correct answer. You can buy insurance so that you don't lose so much when you get one wrong. You can freeze other teammates so they, they can't answer questions for a period of time. You can change the music. <laughs> you can do a lot of fun stuff um, and students will figure it out very, very quickly and you'll see them earning a bunch of money um, over that time. It is so much fun. Now, if you play, there's so many versions you can play. There's a zombie version, there's the Among Us version, there's the normal version, and I think they come out with new versions all the time, which is pretty cool. And it's just a lot of fun to see what you can shop, what you can buy, how you can challenge uh, your fellow classmates or your students uh, to get higher and to do better and to really understand this information. But the way they're getting that money, the way they're getting that power or their points in any of, this, in any of these games is because they're answering the questions correctly, which is pretty cool. 
Yes, your students are going to love this game. Gim Kit. <laughs> It's awesome. I highly, highly recommend it. I can't tell you how many students have emailed me, have messaged me, have said in class how awesome they think that it is. So include it. It's going to be fun and it's going to be a great way for your students to learn. Now it does cost money. Shh, don't tell my husband I already bought it. <laughs> it's about $5 a month and then about $60 a year but it's totally worth it. So I highly encourage you purchasing this for your classroom or getting your principal to buy it for your classroom because I know I've said this before, but the students love it. <laughs> it's pretty awesome and I know it's gonna make a big difference in your classroom. Until next time.